Hey, good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, or good night, sound family, depending on where this uh, this video finds you. All right, it's Wasi again. All right, just giving a quick update on um, the Power Distro. I don't know if um, you know, you've seen the uh, the video I put out before this one a little while ago. But I had the uh, the power distro that you know that I designed, and you know we got it in full production right now. Um, earlier, when I put out the video, the power distro, which comes with all the um, all the Nutric, you know, power con, the 32, 32 amp power cons, and the plug and everything, everything was pushing it to like around fifteen hundred. We worked out a deal. We struck a deal with the manufacturer, so now the distro is twelve fifty, and that still comes with all the connections and everything else. It's not exactly cheap, like I said before, but still, I mean, that's a $250 difference. And you're getting something that's basically going to solve 99% of the problems when it comes to these racks. Um, you know, with the, uh, the multiple CVR or the multiple uh, PowerSoft or whatever amplifier you're using at the time. All right, so I just built this little rack right here. I put, a, um, I put one of our X, X8s in there and, um, you know, set it up with the, uh, the new distro. So, you know, I'm just showing you, I ain't a hypocrite, man. I ain't just trying to sell this thing and telling you it's great and I don't use it myself. I absolutely 100% use them on every event that we do. And it's in every single one of our racks. All right. So I'm not just trying to push something, uh, you know, trying to make a couple of dollars or whatever. And I don't actually use it. I use this thing on, you know, pretty much everything. And we got another shipment in today. I just got a couple of them right here, but... Uh, for the people that didn't see the video, the first one, you know, this is the back of the um, back of the distro. You have your auxiliary, which is for your signal processing, you know, your EQs, crossovers, drive racks, whatever you may be using. And then you have six individual outlets all putting out 220 volts, which is the best way to run these lightweight digital amplifiers. You don't want to run them in a 110, man. That's not the right way to do it. So this basically solves all the problems you may be having with your rack and the fact that, you know, you got all these amplifiers and you're trying to try to make a distro or get a guy to build something and, you know, he doesn't build it properly and you notice you're blowing amplifiers or you're burning up speakers and you don't know why. This is professionally made. It's desi it's a CAD design. Uh, everything is is done properly, you know, as far as the wiring, the circuit breakers and all that. The last time I gave a description of the breakers and all that. So if you get a chance, just go look at that other video. Uh, that I put out, and we got two here. So these are these are new new ones that just came in. So I just kind of cut the back of this one open, so you know for the people that didn't see the last video, they could see what the back of it looks like, and this is what the front of it looks like. Right, everything is individually breakered with 30 amp breakers for all the amplifiers, and 120 amp breaker for the auxiliary. All right, so like I said, just a quick video. I just finished building this rack. So I just wanted to put this out there and kind of give everybody an update. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm not a hypocrite. This is another rack that we use. And once again, you know, you see the distro is in there. So we're using this distro on everything, man. This rack is for um, for some of the X4s, right? So this is an X4 rack. So all the X4s, you see you got one, two, three, four X4s. And then you got the auxiliary, you know, processing, which is the Ashley Pro TA. Um, all that stuff is plugged into the auxiliary as well as um, as well as this fan right here. This is like a computer grade fan. It, it, uh, the the uh, CFM on these is extremely high. Like one of these fans puts out as much as like one of those other ones with the, the pretty lights and all that with the three fans. One of these fans has more CFM than that whole rack with all three of those fans in there. So um, like I always say, man, just get good quality stuff. Like my grandmother used to tell me, you buy good one time, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, you want a proper distro, something that's not handmade, that's actually made by, you know, machines that, you know, the tolerances are much tighter. Everything is cut real, uh, real tight to spec. There's no sloppy holes. There's no, you know, the Nutrix are leaning to the right or leaning to the left. This is an actual CAD design manufactured by... Very expensive machinery, and they come out very, very nice. All right, so if you want one, hit me up, 954-444-0819. Uh, we ship them everywhere, man. We're shipping them all over the world. We sold the ones that we have so far, so the manufacturers saw that we are able to move them, 
and we keep going back and buying. So, you know, they kind of cut us a little deal. So once again, you can get it for twelve fifty. You buy it one time. You ain't got to worry about buying no more distros for your rack. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and another very good thing, they come with a five-year warranty. So, you know, we're not going to give a five-year warranty if it's trash. You see what I'm saying? Because otherwise, we'd just be getting them back and having to deal with that headache. So these are high-quality uh, distros with the best breakers, the best connections, and everything else. All right? So just, uh, like I said, just dropping in to give you all a quick update. I hope you all have a good weekend. Friday's tomorrow. Be safe out there if you all doing events. You know, pay attention. Don't get too tipsy while you're trying to hook stuff up, you know, because bad things happen. All right? Wasi, over and out. Bless.